Right. Hello. Okay. Uh, okay, yeah. So, hello, everybody. <sighs> I'm back again. I've um, just run into a few issues recording this. As you may or may not have noticed if you're following me on Twitter. Which I don't recommend you do because I will spam your feed if you follow the wrong people. Um, but really what's happened is I recorded this once on Audacity and it didn't work. Um, and then I'm, work I'm looking into recording with my 12 beaches but that didn't work either. Because um, I need to buy something or whatever. I don't really know if Total Beach is trying to scam me out of money. But for now, you're going to have to do with the fan. And I'm really sorry about that, but I really cannot do much about it unless I want to spend about 50 quid on a mic. I might do that um, in the future, in the coming months. I don't know. It depends sort of if I'm uh, enjoying this enough to make continuous investments like that. But obviously, you can hear the mic coming through already. It's just ridiculous. It's not even like, it's not even practical, um, so I don't know, I don't know what I'm going to do, I'm going to have to look into it. I mean, if it really is bad I'll probably get one, but I'm sort of wanting to hold off till about uh, June, July time, because uh, that's basically when my exams are finished and I'm getting a new computer. Um, and I, I might even, and because I'm selling my MacBook as well, when I get that, um, to a friend of mine. I might be able to spend a good portion of the money I'd make from the MacBook, which um, I think I'm selling it to him for about £300 because it's only a couple of years old. Um, something like that, anyway. But if I have a decent amount of money, I might buy a proper good quality mic then. But that is not what I want to talk about my mic troubles, my audio troubles, which I know are plaguing the channel at the moment. Um, but I hope it doesn't affect my interest too much. If it does, you're going to have to tell me and I'll do my best to sort it out. But you know, so far it's the best I can do really at the situation I've got. Okay then, what I have actually for you to watch is some Battlefield Black Company gameplay. Uh, it's on a 5 base uh, rush map called Laguna Fraser I think, I might be wrong and if I am I'll sound very stupid. <laughs> Considering the amount of times I've played this map, but um, I don't like this map, it's a bit, I've never been a fan of it, especially on the first base because it's such a slow first base. But anyway. If you have never played Battlefield before, uh, you may be confused by some of the mechanics or game aspects in place, such as what happened for him to get a little yellow triangle, orange triangle, sorry, over his head. That is called spotting. It's uh, pretty much because in Battlefield, on most platforms, unless you're on the Xbox in a party chat, you can only speak to the guys you're in the squad with, and the squad is consists of up to four people. You can see it on the right of the mini map. Um, occasionally, there's me and Con. And basically, you will only be able to talk to those four people uh, for the game uh, in voice chat unless you wanted to text message people, <laughs> which may become a bit slow and problematic. So, you spotting to show the entire of your team. On God, I've got something like uh, I don't know what's going on there. Right, let me catch my breath again. Right, um, so you spotting to basically alert your entire team to the enemy's position and it lasts for a couple of seconds and it basically highlights these guys on the map through cover, around corners, in houses. It's quite useful. Um, it's a bit like the Black Light Tango Down thing you might have seen if you played that game. Um, the sort of visor thing, I only played it like once so I don't really know that game very well. But I can you can sort of liken it to that. Um, so rush, rush to anyone that doesn't know. It's sort of a demo. It's take demolition from Call of Duty and make it from three to five bases long, and you get this game. I think it's only five bases it goes up to. Uh, get me some dog tags. Woohoo! Only silver, silvers. I think they were. Yeah, they were silvers. Um, but yeah, so rush is basically. I quite like it. It's my staple game type. Um, there is only other. Really, there's four game types. I think, but three main game types which is uh, Conquest which is Domination and um, what's the other one? <laughs> and Squad Deathmatch, that's the one that you see a lot of people post up um, because it is so short uh, yeah games like this do tend to games of Russian Conquest can run on to 30 minutes, 40 minutes at a time sometimes it depends on uh, how the game is I mean I can, I can go through like a couple of hours and only, I've only played like three maps and pretty much, if you come in on the start of the game, 
as in the start of rotation of a map, you'll play attackers and then defenders, then you'll change the map, attackers, defenders. So you can literally play like a couple of maps um, if you do, if it takes a long time to uh, complete it. And on Conquest, you play from one end and then the other end. So you don't really get attackers, defenders, so to, so to speak. But yeah. So I'm working the engineer kit. I've uh, gold starred all my engineer weapons. Gold star is uh, 100 kills. Uh, yeah, it breaks down like that. You get it's just a way to get points, really. But it's just the point system in Battlefield's a bit different. I mean, I could explain all of this, but literally picking it up for about a couple of hours will kind of explain it to you. Um, but I've gold started a lot of my weapons, and I'm kind of racing Con at the moment, uh, who is a decent teammate of mine who I uh, used to play Battlefield with, um, to get all the gold stars on everything. He's pretty much beating me though on most fronts. Um, but yeah, I still like to joke and pretend that I'm got more kills than him. I don't actually know if I do. I think he might have more than me. But yeah. Um, so yeah, basically engineer kit, vehicle, just defense, and sort of sneaky class because it's got the silencer on, but in my experience, in my own opinion, I don't feel that the, uh, the little map in the left bottom left corner that you just see there really does much apart from leads you around the map, gives you your position to your teammates, and tells you how many lives you have left. Now, oh yeah, I'll mention that in a second, but because basically when you play Battlefield, you basically play against a team of cold-blooded or ghost users or whatever you want to call it. You can't see them unless they fire the weapons. You see like a little orange triangle flick up now and again. Uh, another reason they'll come up is spotting. That's why it's so important. It's because spotting is basically your map. It's your it's your UAV. And also rookie, rookie? Uh, Wookiee motion mines, which I made through some gameplay of uh, playing a Wookiee, which is actually a recon, but... A Wookiee all the same is what they're renowned as. Um, and if I do, I'll definitely highlight how to sort of play it uh, the correct way, maybe. I think I'm supposed to, I'll, I'll say it like that. It's the correct way of playing it. Running around stone scoping like a boss. But yeah, so pretty much uh, engineer is your vehicle support and uh, explosive class. Uh, you've got rockets or anti tank mines. Anti tank mines, of course, being. <laughs> Um, in most people's experience, the way to take out tanks or any uh, land vehicles, in mine and con's experience of a game we played on Oasis, also a method of getting killed in a chopper. That is not in any way due to my poor piloting skills, actually it is, and you'll see it if I can be bothered to put all the clips together. It was a hilarious like period of time when we were flying a chopper around the Apache on the Oasis, which is a uh, big big map from Battlefield 1 that came brought over, a bit like how uh, Infinity War brought Call of Duty 4 maps in. Now Battlefield is my first, Battlefield by Company 2 sorry, is my first uh, Battlefield game. So whenever I reference Battlefield, I actually mean Battlefield, Bad Company or Bad Company 1 or 2 um, and I'll kind of make it clear if I mean the normal games. Um, well, I probably won't actually but yeah, just pay attention and sort of take your best guess. Um, I don't really know what I really have to say, I mean, about this, it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, you kind of run in, plant the bomb, run away, and hopefully it blows up, and then it moves up again. So yeah, that was what I was going to talk about, I remember now. Right, so tickets, you see in the bottom left, on top of the HUD, there is a bar. It says attackers with a small number underneath, two diamond shapes or rotated squares, so that would be what, that would be wrong, no, it wouldn't be wrong, it would never and then defenders have an infinity sign underneath, which is the sideways 8. So defenders when playing uh, always have infinite tickets or infinite lives, but they're known as tickets on this game. Um, and basically what happens is when you die as the attackers, you lose a ticket for your team. And the guy that just ran past me is a medic. Um, medics have the ability to not only keep you alive using medic medikits or medipacks or health kits, whatever you want to call them, but they can also... <clears throat> They can also uh, revive you, pick you up, probably either Rambo revive you if they're inexperienced or uh, do a safe revive on you if they know what they're doing, um, which again I'll get to when I possibly do a medic episode of this game. And um, yeah, pretty much whenever they revive you, you get your ticket back and you can basically keep going. Now, the only way for the defenders to win is by stopping you from, well, basically killing off all 75 tickets of yours before you destroy the two bases and if you see each base on um, flashes when it's on sort of uh, when it's been planted and then it disappears when it's exploded uh, so as you can see we already took 
and then we just take A as well before running on to the next base. So we get a fresh 75 ticket, so it doesn't go up above 75, but it will continue to decrease whenever you die. Um, and in Conquest, it's a little bit different um, in that everybody has a limit. I think it's 200 or 300 tickets. I don't play Conquest a lot, but um, I think it's about that. Maybe it changes from map to map. I mean, for some reason, I have it in both in my head that it's both of them. Um, <clears throat> and then from there, basically, you run the other team's tickets down, not only by kills, but by tickets raining. Imagine spawn trapping, literally killing them um, without them being alive. So spawn trapping on this is kind of called ticket draining, or, or no, it's not, it's called mop, capping all the flags, and then they lose their tickets. Uh, it's like a bleed effect on their ticket counter while you have all the flags. So that's called, sort of a quick run over the game uh, modes. And then the squad deathmatch, which is the first 50 kills, but... It's um, a four-way deathmatch, so you have the squad of four um, with three other squads in the game if the server's at its uh, fullest. And you therefore play 12 other people, and it's quite interesting because it's not who can keep get the most kills uh, and come back, it's who can literally just get out there and get 50 kills no matter how much, because if, uh, if the best aid plans get put down right, then your deaths will be divided by t between three teams. Then you'll have had 50 kills between before any of them can uh, get you to get their own team to 50 kills. I know I kind of jumbled up saying that then. And the fourth game type, which I don't really consider one because I don't think I've ever played, is Squad Rush. It's just basically a mi miniature version of this, uh, used for the competitive scene, in my opinion. I think it is. Um, and that's a four and four with only 20 tickets and one base of each map. So that's how that works. A bit of a limited map. I don't really play it because it's not really that fun. I don't know how many people actually play it themselves. But that is the end of the game. It probably didn't make a lot of sense because I was kind of rambling on. Um, so I don't know how bad the audio will be on this, as I've already mentioned. Hopefully it's not inaudible and you can hear me. Um, but yeah, give us a heads up on what you want to see next. If you want more Battlefield, sorry about dropping that. Um, and that's the end of the game stats. So not a great game, but I just wanted to get something up, and it was pretty fast for this map. Right, cheers, guys.